How's it going everyone? I'm Kevin Jensen. In this video we're going to take a more in-depth look at the XOR and XNOR logic gates. Now the exclusive OR logic gate has two inputs, uh, A and B, and the output is on if A or B are on, but not both. Um, and more to be more specific, um, we can say not A and B or A and not B. Anyway, we'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so the gate itself is made up of two inputs, uh, A and B, and oops, okay, so there. Now what we'll do is we'll run each of the inputs through a NOT gate. And from, uh, anyway, if you look at the truth table, uh, you can see that when the inputs are equal to each other, uh, the output is off. But when the inputs are not equal, the output is on. And uh, anyway, so we'll look at that a little more in just a minute. Um, so now we'll run the outputs of these NOT gates into a couple of AND gates. go with those. Now these other two inputs on these AND gates are going to just be the uh, uninverted output of the input. So now this one will have to bridge over. So let's go ahead and do that. That should work. So we'll have to block there. Okay. There we go. That'll work. So let's take a look at what we've got right now. Um, first, you'll you notice what the uh, the two torches on each of the AND gates are doing. Um, we've inverted this input, so the output is um, anyway. This torch is off. And then this is off of this one, this tort, or this input, which is, oh wait, they're both off. Okay, never mind. So this output is off, and so that torch is on. But when we switch them, anyway, it turns this one on, and because this input is then inverted, it turns both of these torches off, on, which in turn makes our output off. So. By having the, the inverter or the NOT gates on here, it controls what the two AND gates do. So if the input of one is on, um, it sends out an OFF output and an ON output and does it to the two different gates so that neither one of these AND gates can ever return true at the same time. So if both inputs are on, uh, anyway, the, the NOT gates basically force one or both, both in this case, to be off. So, and kind of the, the final part of this is we run the wiring to an N or an OR gate. So, we'll just run this to a little output tower. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so right here our output is off because both inputs are off. If one input is on, the output is on. And if we switch over to this one, I uh, get the same result. But if both are on, the output is off. And this is basically what makes this a, uh, this is what makes it exclusive. So we're saying that both inputs are on, or anyway, it can be either A or B, but not both. And going back to the 
Anyway, you can see we've got the knots, so it's not A and B or A and not B. So we've got the or, the and, and the knots. So now let's take a look at the, uh, the more compact version of this that you can find on uh, the wiki. And I, this was a pretty brilliant design. I don't know who put it together, but it was very well done. Um, these three torches on the back of an AND gate do a couple things. Um, uh, first, the most obvious one is it makes an AND gate. So if both of these inputs are on, the output is on. But what it also does is it gives us an invert or a, a NOT gate on the back here. So these give us uh, the inversion of the input. So now that's on, so the output's off. And um, in this, the XOR gate, um, it's used um, to, ah, we'll, we'll just build it so you can see it here. So this, this little piece here, um, this output is true when either the gate is off or both gates are on because when the AND gate's on, this torch turns on and it turns both of these um, wires on. But when it's, anyway, when we've only got one though, it allows the signal to get by. And then from there, we invert the signal. And run it through an OR gate, which this is an OR gate. It's kind of a simplified version of it. but. As you can see, when one of the inputs is on, the signal gets through to turn on the OR gate. But when both of them are on, the AND gate activates and in and turns both of these on, so the output is off. And kind of the same thing when uh, the outputs are off. So very clever design. But um, that's basically the the XOR gate. Now the uh, XNOR gate is an XOR gate with an inverted output. So I hope that kind of takes some of the mystery out of that. So now if your inputs are equal, the output is on. But if they're unequal, the output's off. So pretty simple. You could do the same thing over on this one. Um, but use this compact design, it's much better. And over here I made a over here I've used the XOR gate to... Anyway, basically what I've done is we have a drawbridge and some lava and when we uh, flip the switch this bridge shows up as you can see and when we get to the other side here we have another input and what that does is it turns the output of our XOR gate on the other end there to false. So this way, uh, no matter which side of this bridge you're on, you can always turn the input to true, or output to true, so that you can actually cross it. So that's one of the cool uses of the XOR gate. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that helped take some of the mystery out of the XOR and XNOR gates.